and we're live. Woohoo! Yay! All right, now let's see if my other phone will work tonight. Yeah, I had to switch out batteries because it was flashing last night, and I had cheapo batteries, so yeah. All right, we'll let everybody build up in here. We're waiting on Greg to get home, too, so we'll talk amongst ourselves for a little bit. <clears throat> and then I think Gary Bell is going to do an auction tonight, possibly, and I think um, Mr. Plum is going to do an auction as well. Gary. Yep. Oh. There's audio. Audio. Yay. What's up, Nick? Uh, I haven't watched whatever you sent me yet. So, what are we building up to? We're building up to <clears throat> the Squirrel Master. Yeah. We should, we should call him the Squirrel Master from now on. Yeah, Squirrel Master. <laughs> <laughs> There's a movie reference in there if you know it. <laughs> What's up, CJ? It's Mr. Tim, Brian, Nick, Mr. Hot Wheel Hunter. There we go. Oh, Klein is in the house. Well, yeah. The, the peanut gallery is getting in here early tonight. CJ, Artery, <clears throat> Mr. Craig, Wesley Craig. I prefer the nut job. <laughs> Let's get our highs in real quick. Yeah, that works too. Brian, how are you? Glad that we will get to see you uh, tomorrow. Go hang no. out for a little bit. Saturday. 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 My mind's already towards Saturday. I hear you. So is <laughs> mine. But depending on... See, is, I, for those of you who don't know, I just spent the last two hours mowing half of my yard, and I had 17 trash cans full of leaves. The problem is I only have six trash cans. <laughs> but where I'm fortunate enough to live, we have a burn pile twice a year, so... I was able to get rid of those leaves three times. So, but yeah, actually, it was more like nineteen, but whatever. So, yeah. Oh, and the Legends Tour just went live. I forgot about that. All right. Well, evening, Don. We might have a very low crowd tonight. <laughs> well, that's okay. We got twelve. It looks like we're doing well. Yeah. Well, um, while we're waiting for Greg, I have a topic we can talk about. Let, let's do it. Let's kick this thing. And it revolves. Do I have one close by here? Let me see. Anything over here? Over here? Not that one. That one doesn't count. I guess we'll use one of the old ones. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Brian. Mid States no, that is way, way better than. It's way better than Legends Tour. Who got the Don, pink caddy this weekend? How are on you? Tuesday. Let's let's do it. Let's do. Who got the pink caddy? I did. I got one. I, yeah, I got one. This is an old 442. It's super pretty. <clears throat> I want another one, though, because Robin needs a Christmas present. Yeah, so if anybody's got an extra, Kent is your guy. Or technically, it would be Kent is your yeah. guy. I forget right, you here, that. right here. I need, Over one. There. I need an extra one. I tried my best. <laughs> All right, so... You know, I was looking at a few things on the page. You know, there was mixed Nick reviews on it. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't seem to dig the old school casting. A lot of people didn't like the neo classic wheels on it, um, and that's okay. That's cool. Uh, I like old school stuff, though. Aren't all the redline cars? Aren't they all? Don't they all have neos on them? Mm -hmm. Not all of them. The power wagon was a oh, rider. Yep, yeah, very true. The um, funny car was real riders. Yep. And here's a here's a Thunderbird. Neo classics on it. Yep. And here's the evil weevil. It has neo classics on it. Derek Julian, thanks for coming in. Nick, uh, hi again. We got the. Even though Manny will swear up and down, we have the Chevy Camaro, a.k.a. the Heavy Chevy. Yeah. And it's rocking Neos, too. And but, yeah, historically, they are um, Neo Classic wheels. The Hall of Flame. Hall of Flame. 
I've seen that in person, real life. I know, so have I. I still need to get the group picture from it, though. I thought I posted some up the other day, about a, well, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a couple months ago. Kaven, how are you doing tonight? Um, so let's get y'all's thoughts on uh, the Cadillac um, pink party car from L.A. And go. I like it. I watched a legit red line Cadillac last night. It was a nice shade of pink. So on a red line site for 1850, I think it was. Nice. Yeah. And it was the same one. And I was like, Hey, I just bought one of those for 20 bucks. But I was like, nah, I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> Miss Terry, how are you? 30, tonight, 30 bucks. Too? Technically Terry. Hello. The good um, luck charm. Yes. The good luck charm. <laughs> So I, I'm. I was hoping a few of those uh, pink cars would ship. Uh, ship. Ship. I said ship. Uh, this week and be ready for uh, Des Moines, but I think we're going to have to wait about a month or so. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, I, would, I, I think you're right on that one. It's I it's a cool it. piece. Yeah. I, I mean, for the, for the old school guys, yeah, they're going to like it. I, I mean, I hope the the newer collectors, they appreciate it. And uh, I just want to also put one little house cleaning item. If you're going to post a trade, make sure you are posting what you have and what you want. Even though we're not a buy-sell trade page. Yes. I mean. So keep it to a minimum. If you, you know, there's 8 billion buy, sell, trade pages, you know, go over to the Hot Wheel Garage and, and, and Mr. Gary Bell would probably allow some of that to happen over there. I, I think we'll, that, we'll have to talk to him first, but that plan might be in the works. He's just trying to get himself a little bit more established. Yep. Well, look at there. Nick's, is, Nick's got track, tracking information. Gary says his just shipped. Nice. Got something to look forward to next week. Besides the South Sioux Toy Show. Yeah, so. South Sioux, Nebraska Toy Show on the 14th. That'll be a yep. blast. Yep, that's the next one. And then I think well, I'm going to... Technically, gonna... the next one is Des Moines this Saturday. Yes. And yes. then next weekend is the South Sioux, Nebraska Toy Show. And then the weekend of Thanksgiving, I, I know I'm going to be up around the Verdigree Lee area at this uh, place called the barn. They're doing a toy show out there. Um, I think Brent's got family obligations that weekend. So it'll just be me and we're going to try that one out and see what happens there. I know Should there's a, a good time. few other ones coming up. I know Hinton has their toy show um, along the way in December. Then we will be out in Ashland here in about three weeks and whatnot. So look for that table post here in the next couple of days. I yeah. just, I said, I, uh, sorry, D Moines. Des. Des Moines. Hey, what was, what was that one guy calling it, Brian? Um, oh God. I can't remember what he was calling it. Des Moines or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there was something else that's been come that came off. Luis Fonzi has a new car coming out along with a really nice leather jacket. It's a 2021 Ford Bronco in a clear cube. Only 21 made for the nice round price of $1,200. So if you want in on that, go for it. I mean... I'm going to go ahead and that was, pass. That was a little hard. <laughs> that, no, that, that's an easy one, man. That's an easy pass. <laughs> Mr. Hey, Fred, Fred, how, what's how up, you? brother? Miss Vicky, I see you popped in as well. Hi, Vicky. Haven't seen you in like a week. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to bring, since I, since Vicky just you know reminded me, if you guys didn't get a chance to go check out that uh, that little, it was basically like a garage sale that PJ posted about, you slept. Two dollars. Yeah, two dollar Johnny's. Two dollar Johnny Lightning. I stocked up. I got all sorts of cool ones. Ashland. 
Ashland Stacy is going to be the first Sunday in uh, December. December. So, I believe it's the fifth. The fifth, yes, that is a correct statement. So we are just waiting on Mr. Greg Sully to walk in. He is on his way home from filling up the chip stands. Miss Greta, how are you? What up? I'm trying to think of what else we got going on. Um, Let's see here. I know we are about that close to making the sales announcement for the club car. Oh, yeah. Um, we we just want to confirm a couple things. I think we, we've got our answer, and we just need to reach out to one or two people and have Reagan? them uh, do something Way for in. us. Yeah. Reagan, Super Mike, how are you all doing tonight? Uh, like I said, we're just waiting for Greg to get here. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I actually did a little hunting today or yesterday. Greta, I, I uh, thought you were the lucky charm. Yeah, that's true. Stacy Craig's looking for Beanie Babies. We're thinking of making a comeback. Mr. Joseph Zahn, how's it going? Joseph, how are you tonight? And Super Mike, good to see you again. Um, like I said, we're just waiting for. For, they uh, know. They they know. We got I, we got nine minutes. Greg will be here hopefully. More like Barbies. Oh, Peanut know. Gallery is going after Stacy tonight. Hey, to Kayla, Iowa. you you going to Des Moines this week? Yeah, Des Moines this weekend. Des Moines. Des Moines. Oh, what else we got going on? Um, um, I think with the Legends Tour tonight, I think they're announcing the winner of the U.S. side. Oh, that would be cool. And I have my fingers crossed for that Mercedes um, gasser. I mean, obviously, I got a thing for Benz. I don't know why. But I just think it'd be cool to see a old 60s Mercedes gasser. I just think that that's hilarious. And I don't know. I really liked it. Bringing on people I have pressures. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I was actually uh, I had a dentist appointment yesterday And then after that I hit Walmart And uh, uh, I actually found some new stuff That I didn't have And I was pretty excited about that And I ran into Mr. Steve Floor, And then I ran into Mr. Jim Schaefer <laughs> And Wow Ooh. Wicked That's a wicked burn Wicked burn. That, that, that's ruthless right there But then I uh, I managed to, you know, I got, a, I got a tip about, and this is another thing that you guys don't know, uh, Baker's right now has got like Hot Wheels for 30 cents a piece, so, and I managed to find some of the Christmas cars that I did not have, so that made me happy. I still need the carbonator and another Fairlane, but I got everything else I wanted. Oh, and I need another, now, well, I probably just need the carbonator, that's all I need really. You gotta have a carbonator. I mean, it's a classic. But then I had to get gas for my truck, and then I was like, "Well, I'm right next to Target over here on 120 or 132nd Street." I'm like, "I'll pop in." I was told that there was the Target up on 156 was ransacked, so I was like, "Well, there's probably nothing here," and there wasn't. There was literally three or four main lines, I think, hanging on the shelf. But there was a character car that I did not have. And I wish I wouldn't have left it upstairs in the truck because I'd show you guys. I found the the Harley, the brand new Harley Quinn uh, car. So, and this is getting dangerous here. Joseph's living the dream. <laughs> Jeez, this is getting brutal. Brian's yeah, Greg jokes. is Greg is going to be getting barbecued tonight. This is going to be fun. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have a good time tonight. Oh, you most definitely. Um, yeah, yeah I, got my, I got my Harley Quinn character car, so I was very happy about that. The, the cool thing I got to see, you know, on the pages uh, this past week is there there's some things that are starting to hit now, and people are starting to post again, which was great. I mean, it's been uh, so dry and so dead 
you know, because of the con- shipping container woes and we're just running out of stuff. Yeah, you're you're right, Brian. He's walking into an ambush. Yes, he is. But he can take it. Oh, yes, go Cowboys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Dallas, welcome to the party. What's up? See you this weekend, brother. Yep. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. I think this the Des Moines show is going to be good. There's going to be some people we haven't seen in a while, and I'm looking forward to that. Maybe some of the Kansas City guys are going to come up. I know Rich is going to be there, so that'll be good, too. Um, maybe some of the Minnesota guys will come down. And, and you know, we're just going to have some fine, <clears throat> fun. Yep. I'm excited about it this weekend. It, it's always a good time, and I enjoy driving out there. The drives isn't too bad, but, you know, I like that. It, it's a decent – it's a great show for a short amount of drive. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people that drive up from Omaha. So, I mean, if, if you guys want to go check it out. There's a lot of guys that sell there that do not come this direction. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys and girls may not get to see because some of those guys don't, don't make it this far. So it's all new stuff that you may be looking for. You never know. Take the drive. I've got a Zamac search and destroy list. I got to do when I'm out there for myself. Yeah. Terry, you are not lying about the dog food because we only there was only one bag of Murphy's dog food in the in, in all of Norfolk, and we just happened to get it. So, yeah, it's it's insane that um, what's going on right now with things not being available. But we're making it work. We got Hot Wheels. We're good to go. Speaking of Hot Wheels, how did everybody's Halloween go? I know. I saw a lot of posts about people uh, giving out cars, which was really cool. I, I thought that was awesome that people were doing that. I think um, somebody from the Iowa group had like 300 cars and only ended up having like 27 left. That's a lot of trick or treaters. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I, uh, I I I unfortunately did not have that many trick or treaters this year. Um, I had about 60, but I talked to a buddy of mine and he said that it was, cause it was a little bit chilly on Halloween out here. And, uh, like I said, there was about 60 kids, but he says there's normally like closer to 200. So, but I still had a blast. I decorated my house. I had a great time. Everybody in my neighborhood loved it. I met half my neighbors in different streets next door up the street. It was, it was a good time. So. Good. I did. I didn't hand out any Hot Wheels though. I did. I mean, I ended up doing about a hundred and sixty-nine or so, and we ended up having. Towards the end, I was given two pieces of candy for every Hot Wheel, just so nice. we could get rid of it. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah I, gave, was, I gave good. out a lot, so but I kept the Hot Wheels for myself. <sighs> oh, how was that? How was that, um, Dallas? Tell me about it. Tell me Minneapolis. Yeah, how was that? I, I bet that would have been different up in Minneapolis with all the. I've, I've only been to Minneapolis one time, and it was we went up for the Garth, one of the Garth Brooks shows that was up there quite a few years ago, and it was a good time. But man, that Mall of America is no joke. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. <clears throat> I know um, you think (laughs) I knew somebody was going to say that. I was waiting for it. Nice, Brian. (laughs) Walked around downtown Saturday night. Lines were around the block. Costumes were amazing. Very nice. 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 And I know uh, Mr. Mr. Shaq is going to have another show coming up there in Forest Lake, I believe pretty soon so if you're up in that way go check it out i know we've got to get up there eventually i don't know what he's doing right now killing a bug killing a bug okay (sighs) sorry (laughs) i don't like things flying around in my house and with the change of the weather things are getting in through i don't know how they're getting in but he's no longer with us Ah, he is 
<laughs> All right. What are y'all wanting to see this weekend in Des Moines? I mean, let's 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 hear it from everybody. Those of you that are uh, going to venture out there. I got a friend's request from someone I don't know. Yay. Um I know I'm looking for the loan ID car that I need. Which is? The McLaren Sienna. And I need, if anyone has any of the brand new ones, I'll take those too. But I don't think those have been released yet. So I don't think I've seen them either. They're not even on eBay as far as I'm, a, as far as I'm aware. So I'm pretty sure that they haven't gotten away yet. Well, for myself, I, I'm looking for about 10 Zaymac cars from 2021, 2020, and 2019. There's about about three each from, from those years. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I know I've got somebody that wants 67 Fairlanes and 65 Galaxies, so those... Yeah, you've had a couple opportunities to buy that. Uh, it, it's it's popped up. Lord Wiggins has it. Yeah, I don't think he wants that. I don't think he wants to spend that money though. Tony, how are you? Thanks for popping in. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the witty banter between Kevin and Brian. <laughs> it's with the junk. <laughs> I um I can honestly say I I don't have a single Mario thing. There was a RuPaul dragon. <laughs> An eighty dollar steak. Oh. That's a lot. And that better have been uh <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a chili winner in that moment. <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. Don's nice. going to make his first trip to Des Moines. That's awesome. It's a good time. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I think we have one of the leading members of the peanut gallery here. Yeah, now. Mr. Dave is in here blowing it up. What up, Dave? Uh-oh. This is going to be fun. And there is... Uh, Brent blowing up now. Now, if I can just get Greg to answer me and be like, "Where are you at, Greg?" I'm just <laughs> making notifications. It's fun. It sounds like it seems like a fun thing to do at the time. So I'm just hitting buttons. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> evening, ladies. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Bone in ter- tenderloin at Manny's. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Have to check right. it out sometime. I may or may not have summoned the troops. <laughs> well, we always we always, we're down for everybody to be in here. You know, it's a fun time. You know, you get to hang out, have a little bit of conversations. You know, if you guys ever want to be on the show, send us a message. Say, hey, I want to join this this crazy night. You know, and you know we can, you know, yeah. we can have Mr. Kent write up a whole, you know, list, whole, a whole question list for you, and you know, and it'll just be like. You know, every other per guest we've ever had on the show, you can talk about your collection, you know, your favorite cars, your favorite finds, you know, I, hey, there's, I know. there's Greg's. So, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a good time. <laughs> but I'm always looking for low riders. Too. Yeah, we, uh, we rolled out with the C4Ts tonight. We didn't even coordinate that either. No. I was, I, you missed it earlier, Dave. I, I was mowing until literally about 10 minutes before the show started. So any news on the, on the, on the new C4 shirts there, Dave? <laughs> just wondering if those are ever going to see the light of day or not. <laughs> I'd like some new colors. <laughs> Let's see here. Now, I'm I don't think if there's anything else I'm looking looking for. I just messaged uh, Craig again, so hopefully he's almost there. Someone got jokes. 
Oh, I bet that was Dave. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not a joke, Dave. I'm literally curious where the shirts are. <laughs> well, I think he's referring to the, the hijacking of the logo that happened. Oh, yeah, yeah there was that, too. That, that, that was interesting that, that someone is trying to thieve off of the C4 guys, which is not right in any way, shape, or form. Oh, one other thing we should probably mention, um, the get on to the Collector's Events Unlimited page. Mm. Please, if you are even thinking about wanting to do that, when those open up on the, I think it was the 8th? I believe so. Yeah, get on there. Get on there on the 8th and get those tickets ordered if you want to go because they will sell out in Quick. probably less than an hour. Um, and you, you can fill out the form right there on the website. Yeah. So there's there's no mailing involved. Everything is right there. I'm going to start a new clothing land. We're going to turn terms with you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm looking for junk. I've got stuff to build next year. Nice. Still waiting on our confirmation. Yes, yeah, nice. so, so are we. Um, Armando, thanks for popping in tonight. We're, We're waiting on the time. guest of honor who is six and a half minutes late. So Yeah, well, he's seen, <laughs> uh, he's seen my message, so hopefully he's getting on here soon. I sent him the link, so all he's got to do is click it and yeah. I'm just waiting for that. There he is, yeah. but he hasn't shown up yet. So I was like, "Yeah, he's here," but no, he's not here. Well, he he said he was a little nervous because of us. You know, I'm like, we're not the ones you have to worry about. No, it's the peanut gallery. They're the ones that are going to have the most fun tonight. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm majorly looking for. And I and I'd have to say it's just it's got to be something that I'm. Well, that's. You ain't it's wrong. Be, it's just got to be something I, I really want, you know. I mean, it's there's not a lot of new stuff I'm chasing. Um, I'd like to find some of the new uh, opening moving parts cars for Matchbox. There's some, there's a really nice Cadillac coming out. Um, yeah, right, Ryan. Right, like Greg's ever on time for anything. I think he's going to be late for his own funeral or for for the wedding with Miss Melanie, unless she's got the shotgun pointing him along that's true <clears throat> and you know that actually that there's a story that that makes me really internally laugh when you said he, that you know he's late for everything i had a buddy who literally was late every day to work every every time you met me to meet up with him he was late and unfortunately he painted up passing away quite a few years ago and the funniest part was the preacher was late to the funeral. <laughs> and I was like, man, that's just like Rob, man. Even the preacher's late to the funeral. So, you know, we couldn't, though so he was late to his own funeral, technically. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do with Robin. <laughs> I'm going to tell the, the, the hearse driver to bring her in 15 minutes late. Just, <laughs> just because that's the way she is. So are would, you. So <laughs> no, I am not late if I am. I'm I'm prepared. I will be on time. Yeah, if, if you're prepared early. is the key sentence of that statement. <laughs> That's a big if sometimes. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's rubbed off on me a little bit, but yeah. I love it. I try to be on time everywhere I go, but it doesn't always work out. Sometimes I'm early. Well, I'm running out of topics, Greg. I know. <laughs> I just shot him a Another me mesh is asking if he's ready or not. Let's see here. Um, I am looking for the. There's a couple of treasure hunts I want to get for the, this year that I'm still missing. Well, if you got a couple Leo Benzes around, folks. Well, yeah. If anybody's sitting on some 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 good old Mercedes they want to unload, I need a few more for a job I'm working on. So Greg Sully is watching. Greg, you're supposed to be in here. Click on that link I sent you. You can't be in the... Oh, Lord. Hold really, on. Greg? <laughs> Click the link, brother. <laughs> I'm sending it again. <laughs> Good Lord. 
he's in here watching like he's supposed to, he's supposed to be on the show, not in the show. <laughs> yeah, you know, keep yep. the camera. If anybody's got a few extras of these laying around, let me know. I'm going to drill them, so I'm not looking to pay a fortune for them. So. Oh, you saw it. Now just click the link, Greg. Click the link. Click it. Click it. Click it now. Come on. At least when I show up, I bring my hands of the name. Randy Fry, <laughs> how are you, sir? Thank you for popping on. Found a new age technology. <laughs> okay. I can see him saying that too. Yeah, he's probably like this. What? I'm like, hold on, what? Right. But this is gonna be fun either way. If he can click the button, if he can click the money, um, I don't know. Maybe about five or six more is what I'm looking for. I think I need to do a count. And actually, see how many I actually physically Greg! have. Hey, made it! Hey, Look are you happy now? Yes, yeah. we're happy now. Now we can get the party started. How are you, know, you tonight, I... sir? How are you tonight? Doing fine. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, good. good. You look like you uh, just got done working the uh, the first corner out in uh, uh, ta not Talladega, but uh, Darlington. Darlington, yeah. Or are you slinging chips? Boy, how do you get rid of the re or the uh, the echo? Um, um, do you have the show live on your on something else? There, now that might be better. There we go. Yeah, if, if you turn down your other, you know, because I've got two phones, I'm using one and then I'm watching one, so I have this one turned all, all the way down. Oh. I'm just in my one. Yeah, just walked in the door, just got my cup of coffee with Oh there wait. You go. There you go. Talladega. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Miss Melanie with you. She is not. She is laying down. So we're broadcasting live from the kitchen on the farm in the middle of nowhere. Nice. Excellent. Oh wait, no, you're all in Nebraska. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but neither one of us is on a farm. I am pretty much in the middle of nowhere though. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the big city of twenty five thousand. All yeah. right, you got, yeah, you got the picture of the questions I sent you, right? Uh, it's on my phone that we're using right now, so you're just gonna have to go, and I'm just gonna have to wing it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <clears throat> yeah, look up your Bluetooth headset; it'll get rid of. Yeah, I don't know who said that, but yep, I'm no, on. That that's Klein. Mr. That's Mr. Klein. Because that's, that's actually what I have in right now. Yeah. All right. Question <laughs> you know me. I don't, I don't leave home without it. Oh, yeah. We know yeah, that. We, we, we've witnessed that. And, and I had to take my glasses off because I can't read the phone with my glasses on. So. <laughs> See, I knew there was going to be a glasses thing in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. That's me every day, but then the whole phone gets blurry. So now oh, we're yeah. just in here. So Let me, did... Hang on. Let me turn off my... There, that way. I just got outbid on something. I didn't want it ringing through the... <laughs> Sorry that you got outbid. That's yeah. probably like five, uh, six hundred red line. Harvey. Dog and my cat. Or, yeah. <laughs> Melanie and dog Harvey. Come here. Come on. Come on. Well, come on. He wants to be on TV so bad he can't stand it. Come here. <laughs> that sounds like Murphy. Oh. All right, everybody. This is Harvey. What up, little man? Oh. <laughs> up, he, he just wants to see dad. He hasn't seen dad all day. <laughs> <laughs> He's been seeing the bed all day, laying down on mama, haven't you? Huh? All right. Oh, we'll go chase Dave, Dave Rice is in the house. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, Brian put it up in the in our group chat that, you know, hey, Sully's on tonight. Let's go on and roast him. So. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Wait. <laughs> what group What's in the mug? Where am I? Coffee. That's what took me an extra minute because I, I got to have my coffee when I get home. <laughs> All right. How did you get started collecting? Uh, how much time do we have tonight? <laughs> we got all night long. Uh, okay. Well, I brought it out because I do remember the first question. Um, for those that aren't in the red line world. Um, okay. Quick story. My mom and dad were both married before. 
Um, my mom had two boys. My dad had two boys, two girls. When mom and dad got together, they had this bundle of joy. Um, my mom's two boys were 10 years older than me. Um, in 1970, my dad, they stayed with us. Um, in 1970, my dad stopped by um, the local drugstore in town and bought each of the boys a Hot Wheel, kind of an olive branch. Um, one was a hot rod and one was a turbo fire. <clears throat> when he brought them home, he gave them to the boys. They both fought over the hot rod. Neither one of them wanted the turbo fire. My dad got ticked off. He threw the one car they fought over away. He took the turbo fire, wrapped it up, put it in a rubber band, stuck it in a sock drawer. What, 75, 76, I guess, little kid going to get something out the dresser drawer, and I see a Hot Wheel wrapped up. And being the dumbass that I am, I'm like, at dinner that night, I'm like, Dad, can I have the Hot Wheel in your dresser drawer? <laughs> well, after I got my ass whooped for snooping through the dresser drawer, um, he politely said no. Um, and I used to ask him for it for years and years and years. Um, my dad passed away with my older brothers. That's what got me started. Um, brother, I think you guys might have met him. He came to Chicago to a convention once, Dwayne. He's the big car guy that got me into just about all the trouble I've ever been in. Um, as toys, I played with Hot Wheels my whole life. Um, my dad passed away in 1984 from pancreatic cancer. Um, he was at home. Um, I remember mom waking me up, telling me my dad had passed. I went downstairs and I hugged him and loved him and kissed him and told him I loved him. And I turned right around and I went to the dresser drawer and I opened it up and I took out my Hot Wheel and I said, that's mine now, dad. <laughs> and if y'all want to see, there it is. Nice. Wow. Very nice. That's an and awesome if you, story. If you take it out, the uh, I don't know if I know how. If you take it out, you can see the card still. That's how it's set, just like that. Nice. Um, and you know, hence uh, real the real reason why I got into red lines, uh, just because I started collecting that one. I got That's it. when I'm looking at it in the camera. I got to remember. It. Yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, yeah, everything's backwards. Um, but, you know, as far as, as anybody goes, as far as the whole collecting world, you start out with, oh, I love that Camaro. Well, next thing you know, you're, you know, knee deep in 500 Camaros or Mercedes or Datsuns or, well, that one turbo fire is now, it, I'm 51 years old now. That's led me to just right around 700 red lines. <laughs> wow. I didn't know you had um, that many of them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, oh, as far as, as, as Hot Wheels, you know, um, I started off. <laughs> Melanie come by just about crawling on the floor so y'all wouldn't see her on camera in her, <laughs> in her, in her wonderful attire for the day. <laughs> Melanie, hey, Melanie. Melanie. They all if, said, hey, hon, hey, Melanie. If this, hey, y'all. If this wasn't a kid-friendly show, I'm sure we would get our greeting. <laughs> oh no, she's got her her cheetah pajama bottoms on, and her t-shirt, and her coat, and her uh, socks that are flipping the bird, and <laughs> oh, what is it good below? Good and is other it below socks 60? and another shirt, and that's what she sleeps in, guys. <laughs> is it below sixty out there? Yeah, we're supposed to get down in the thirties tonight. Whoa, whoa, that's not right. the heat bill. It's it's South Carolina, y'all. You know what 30s is like here? Tomorrow the town's going to be locked down. <laughs> yeah, I got a buddy that lives out there. And when they, it's like, there's a chance of a dusting of snow and the entire town shuts down. And he's out in his four-wheel drive whipping cookies down the street just having a blast. He's like, this is so much fun. <laughs> and Klein says hi to Miss Mel. Brian said, hey, Melanie. Actually, he, he said hi, Mel. Can't wait to pick on you in Charlotte. Brian Klein. <laughs> <laughs> she stayed, right. She's making sure she stays behind my head. She, <laughs> so, I think we already know the answer to the next next question. Brian, we can't. She said hi. I don't know if you could hear it through my headset. Oh, we heard yep. it. Yep. Bye, Miss Mel. Hey, Miss Melanie. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Red lines, black walls, or the modern era? Which one 
do you prefer? I think we already know the answer, but you know, we'll go for it anyway. Which do I prefer? Yeah. A, B, and C. <laughs> okay. Why? Um, I, I do. I mean, I collect red lines uh, uh, primarily. Um, you guys know, but the rest of the group might not know. I'm a massive bone shaker collector. Um, so, you know, modern era, yep, I'm in. Um, I wanted to one-up y'all tonight, so I brought out a uh, a Blackwall Real Rider Street Rider. Nice. I like it. I wanted to one-up you because we're going to uh, – you got anybody that's queasy in here? Oh, yeah, but we wait until the end to do that. <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, and that's funny that I heard you say uh, – Leo's, because for those that... Oh, man. You and your Ooh. monsters. There you go. They're going to get ripped open at the end of the show, too. Oh. Yeah. We might have a mid-ripping, then. <laughs> I'm ripping a Johnny Lightning. There. <laughs> puts, puts mine to shame. Now, you didn't think I was going to let y'all stage me up, did you? I mean, come on. Oh, I can stage it up if I really, really wanted to, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, rip that sucker. What the no. hell? You, you cannot roll that across the table. No, I can't, but I can pay off. I can do a couple of house payments with that monkey, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but, you know, far modern-wise, I collect uh, 55 Chevy panels. I collect custom 69 Chevy trucks. I do 67 Chevy trucks. Um, gasser wagons. I got out of 55 gassers. Um, um, I don't even, I don't even have that here, Brian. I just know that's Brian. Cause I, it just says Facebook user on my end. I don't know who says, what, yeah. So, so but, if, if you don't have your profile to allow Streamyard, we can't see who it is. That's why we have the backup feeds. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's okay. See, see that now, like if he puts my comment that, I, or actually, I probably haven't. Yeah, I see, I haven't. I forgot. This is my new account. I haven't. Uh, haven't yeah, given that's not the yet. commandeered one. But anyway, Clemson or South Carolina? Oh, go Gamecocks! Yeah, I knew that one. <laughs> uh, for those that I was born and raised in Ohio, so you know by tradition I'm a no Buckeye. no 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 no. You um, were born in Nebraska. <laughs> no, no, I was born in Ohio. My dad was born in Nebraska, um, wow. and for years I grew up. Any oh. chance you have the killer murdered out bone shaker done by Mister Lee Allen? Why, yes, I do. Do I have it with me? No, I don't. <laughs> I know how you got that. I do too. Um, but I moved to Carolina, and I become a Gamecock fan because Columbia is just an hour and a half from here, and we go to games all the time. And um, I don't have anything in the world against Clemson except they're four hours away, and they suck. But you know, <laughs> 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 I just say that because you know I can razz people all. You guys know I can razz anybody all day for anything. Oh yes, oh, no, but definitely. I am a Gamecock. We bleed red. Hey, yes. I did. I did not say go big red. Oh come on. Yeah. <laughs> I watched a game a couple of weeks ago. Me and Melanie sat down and watched Nebraska play. I forget who it was. It's probably Michigan, Michigan State, or Oklahoma. I guarantee they lost. Yeah. <laughs> or it could have been the North. Or it could have been the Northwestern game. <laughs> yeah, he he said that Dallas. Yes, he did. But but I have Husker in my blood. So my dad was born and raised in Nebraska. My dad is buried right where Brent lives. Yeah, well, not far from it. Not far from it. No, he's well, not. He's not. He's not out of the backyard. So, no. Nope. <laughs> but my dad is buried in Blair, Nebraska. So, how did you get the nickname Squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> and surprisingly, uh, I don't know this. You, yeah, you guys, you got to keep reminding me that we're in a public, family-friendly environment, and we're, yes. we're not sitting outside of a convention <clears throat> talking crap. Um, no. Remember the good years when Nebraska fired coaches for going? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> that was like every year since Tom Tyson. Osborne, was it not? Well, mm, pretty Frankie. Much. Yeah. Um, squirrel came about by a man, by a gentleman, <laughs> family friendly, Chris Parker. Ah. We were 
It's funny. We were at a convention. I don't even remember where. Brian might remember. I don't know if Mike's in here. He might remember. But we were outside, you know, because we're always outside. Late at night, we might have had a few drinks. And these two girls came back from a party, and they come walking up to us because we're all standing out there. That was back, well, when Chris was with Mattel. And they're like, what are y'all doing? I'm like, we're here for the Hot Wheels. <laughs> they hung out with us. Everybody was laughing, having a good time. Um, and then they wanted to take a group picture. And they looked up and they said, uh, what's your name? So everybody introduced themselves. And Chris said, his name was Squirrel. <laughs> Somehow, the girls took that to be my name. <laughs> so... They called me squirrel all night, and then it just, it's been Indianapolis. That, that would be it. And then it's Damn. just stuck with me ever since. I am squirrel, and Parker, Chris Parker, he was actually squirrel, but I got the name and it stuck with it. But with the circle of friends that I have, I could be called a lot worse. I'll take squirrel. <laughs> and Dave has the proof. Yeah. No, nope. And he does. I still got the pick. Oh, very no, nice. I think Dave actually shared that not too long ago. What's up, Mr. Rice? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can you tell me about Chris Parker? Because I just hear stories about just other silly string, silly string, and him having a good time and and what he was the life of a he was the life of Mattel at a convention. He 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 personally made people go to convention. I know people that went just because Chris was there. Um Chris used to run the IT or the, uh, remember the back, back in the good old days with the chat rooms and the chat boards. And yeah, that was all Parker. Oh, gotcha. He happened I... to go to a convention one time and he started hooping and hollering. <laughs> and then he brought out silly string. And next thing you know, he's like Mr. Mattel. Um, one of my best, dearest friends in the whole world among many. I heard um, he made an appearance in L.A. this year. Too. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Is I think he was in L.A. this year. He did. Mark and Jennifer, because, uh, you know, Mark and Jennifer are not employed by Mattel. Yeah. Um, they reached out to Chris and asked him if he would do, a, uh, do autograph sessions for him. And he may have been a little reluctant first because the animosity to Mattel. But uh, he went and he missed the first session, he said, but then he went and he said it kind of felt weird, kind of felt really cool, and then by the end he was really happy that he did it. So, good, good. I wonder, do you think there's a chance that he'll be at Charlotte? Nope. He just Why's stays that? on the West Coast, doesn't he? Yep. Uh, yep. No, gotcha. I'd love to see him come to Charlotte, but I, mean, I, I actually asked him that a couple weeks ago. I said, "So you coming to Charlotte?" He said, "Dude, that's like all the way across the country." <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I don't know him, but that sounds like something he would say. Didn't you meet Chris at uh? Did no. you meet Chris in L.A.? No, we did no, not get to meet him. I don't um, think I he know. was. He there in eighteen? He was. Yeah. He, he was there. Um, I know he talked to like you and Barnes and uh, Roy and Scott for a little bit, and maybe Brian too. But I don't think you know Brent and I never got a formal introduction. Oh I well. Remember... Next time we all make it to L.A., I'll have to do that because we go down to San Pedro to the docks for dinner. Nice, nice. That would be fun. That the be best awesome. food you ever ate in your life. <laughs> okay. So, you know, if anybody else has any questions, I know Hot Wheel Hunter, you uh, uh, jumped in there um, uh, as well. So Raising it, they make the world go round. Just hop in with questions. Uh, let's <coughs> see here. Does Bigfoot live out in California, too? Out in the Carolinas, too. Yes, he does, Reagan. He will <laughs> most certainly, certainly does. We'll just have to get our other Sasquatch hunter with us from New York. <laughs> Seafood at the Harbor. Yes, that would sound like fun. Oh. Okay. What has been the biggest change that you've seen in the hobby overall? The biggest change. You know, I read that one and I thought and that made me think for a good bit and you know, then squirrel thing happens and I kind of forget what I was thinking about and went on to something shiny. Um, the biggest change. I think the biggest change I've seen in, in all the years is just the big push to JDM. 
you know, it used to be all about the, the hot rods and the cool cars. You'd have your Z Wiz or your 200 SX or you know, your Porsches, BMW, stuff like that. But um, the biggest change I've seen is, is, is the, the flow over to the new generation and the modern cars. Okay. I'd have to say that was the biggest change that in, in prices <laughs> after, yeah. after, aftermarket prices are still insane. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you feel about that? This change over from um, the hot rod era, you know, your big block muscle cars to some of your tuner JDM style cars. Oh, absolutely love it because I don't buy them. <laughs> now I can watch y'all spend all your money. <laughs> yeah, but but as someone who has done lots of Facebook auctions and across several different yep. um, uh, groups, so to speak, yep. you know, do you just, you know, how do you pick out what cars do you want to sell on an auction? Do, do you just say, well, I'm a muscle guy, so that's all I sell? Or do you go, well, I'm just going to cater to the JDM guys because that's all that you know sells? Well, you know, when you do an online auction and and you set it up, I mean, like one night, uh, like back in the days with uh, Diecast Domination, <clears throat> you know, I would pick a JDM night and I would, you know, pick out cars that were JDM. And that's the audience that you would cater to. That's the audience that would show up. Um, then you'd have, you know, muscle car nights or your Johnny Lightning nights or um, really it, when, for those that don't know, I probably have between 40 and 50,000 pieces in my collection um, and probably 39 to 40,000 of them are in totes and boxes in my old house that I'm still paying rent on because Melanie says they can't come out here. <laughs> you know, yeah, um, when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to a point of um, not getting the enjoyment out of the cars when they're sitting in boxes and totes, it, it made me realize that you don't need all of it. And, you know, if the market's out there and there's people that are wanting good older stuff that, you, you know, it's just, an evolution because for everything old that I sell, well, I'd buy something new to replace it with. And it's just an evolving revolving door that you kind of get stuck in when you're in this hobby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys Most know, definitely. you guys do shows and, and you sell a bunch and you think, yeah, I had a great day. Then you get home and you unload two extra boxes that you didn't think because you bought more. <laughs> yep. Got to replenish. Yeah. I've done that quite a few it's times. A it's a revolving door. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Or at convention, I buy cars and give them to my friends as long as they trust me. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what the bad thing is, Greg? And you're, I'm actually going to show this because it's hilarious. I guess got to make sure I don't show everything here. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't, we don't necessarily want to see everything, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's my... Here, here for your ears. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't unpacked the suitcase yet. <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> or I trade for it. I have That's not epic. unpacked the suitcase from Char from Atlanta yet. And I I had forgotten about it to be completely honest. And the other day I was down here and Amazing. I was like, What is that? And I opened it up and I was like, Oh Lord, I haven't unpacked from Atlanta yet. So <laughs> okay, so so Brent, I, I must confess that um, a couple weeks ago I stopped by my old house and uh, um, I was grabbing stuff and grabbing stuff and I opened up this box and I'm like, holy cow, that's everything from Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> everything was still in the box. The, the box that Tim Whitmer brought down to me from Ohio, still in the box. Um, yeah, the only thing I took out when I got home was my red lines that I brought back from Atlanta. I took yeah. all my ID cards out. <laughs> I did take the ID cards out because I had to start scanning them on a daily basis. So I took all of those out, and, yeah, the rest of it's all still in there. I need to get it cleaned up and put away. Well, yeah, you got to get it unpacked so you can put some – leave it yeah. empty for Charlotte. This is true. And I'm sure Kent's are already unpacked, ripped open, inventoried, marked in the computer, in their appropriate spot. Yeah, I can see that. 
<laughs> what are you looking at, Ken? No, there ain't nothing up there. <laughs> well, he ain't wrong. <laughs> and I've never been to your house. How about that? No, but you should have been. Yes. <laughs> but we'll make that happen sometime. Don't worry about that. Yep, it's coming. Yeah, I got to get my basement finished, and then I'm going to be unpacking a whole lot of stuff. So, yeah, I've got that too. Well, he has the binder. <laughs> yeah, he binder. has he, he has the Bible. <laughs> yep, do not have one of them. Oh, oh, Dirk is in the house. Look at that, Dirk. What's up? <laughs> okay, so I didn't even know you let Dirk in the group. Well, that happened in Atlanta. Yeah. Ah. Um, what one of the one of the best convention stories ever is Dirk Mark. Oh, I don't know well, if you guys were sure. around to remember that. Oh, Dirk, he uh, <laughs> a trapper keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's eighties prob- style neon. He's probably. You know got I might have. To, I might have to go check my storage garage. I think I might have an eighties trapper keeper oh, that we can get him. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of my high school stuff is just still in boxes. So um, I've been going to conventions since, oh, I need Mike Barnes. He keeps up with the years. 06, 05, I think. One of them, two. The year after Atlanta, the first Atlanta. Um, and there's a, a group of us that was, you know, uh, people come and go, um, people in the hobby come and go. Um, but Dirk was a seller, and he'd rent out, a, you know, he'd get his room and, I mean, just floor to ceiling, on the beds, on the floor, on the tables, on the walls, in the window, selling cars. And one year, Bob Ett and I, or Bat Fan Bob, his wife actually worked at Walmart. And one year at a convention, he brought a smock, a Walmart smock, or apron, whatever it was, and had a tag made, you know, Walmart, dirt. And on the front, it said, welcome to Dirt Mart. <laughs> and, and Bob would actually put... Another vest on would stand out inside uh, Dirk's door. You know, Welcome to Dirk Mart. Step right on in. And then it was. <laughs> yeah, it, that went on for a couple, one, at least one or two conventions. I know it happened at one, and it was just Dirk Tim Mart says, forever. Dearborn, Dearborn 07. Yep. yep. That's, That's awesome. when the first one was. All right. So, what is your go to casting? In which era? Any. Blackwall. That's what I'm curious. Because yeah, you Blackwall. Know well, you guys just see my ultimate. Uh, I like oddball Blackwalls, and I was born in '70. Um, and I grew up in a Blackwall era. But my brother, you know, ten years the closest brother to me, ten years elder, um, was Redline. And none of them cars in the '80s rolled like them cars in the '70s. No, no. The whenever I'd go to play. Good. Whenever I'd go to play, I'd go grab them, the, you know, the old red lines. Um, uh, but Blackwell, I like real riders. Um, Blackwell's, gosh, I don't even know what I collect. I don't, Monza's, I collect. Yeah, that's I got you know, Monza's. That's probably my go to in the Blackwall era. Um, or the old hot rod, the, that's the uh, street yeah, rodder. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, and red lines. Uh, AMXs, Nomads, Turbo Fires, Harry Haulers, Vickies, Custom Firebirds, Light My Firebirds. I don't know. If it's shiny and pretty, I pretty much go after it. Like a fishing lure. Yep. Okay, so Hot Hot Wheel Hunter wants to know, do you have all the bone shakers, and which ones are you missing? Um, I believe I have just about everything except Code 3s. Um, at one year convention they did, or well, it actually, one year at a Japan convention when they used to do the Japan convention, they did trophy toppers. Um, and they were code threes, which is, they were made by somebody for Mattel, not Mattel produced. But um, the last time I seen a set of those toppers sell, I believe there was six or seven different colors. Um, gosh, I don't even remember now. It was like $2,500 they sold for. Um, it wasn't Mattel produced and I really, you know, if somebody makes a bone shaker and gives it to me, sure. It goes home and goes on a shelf. As far as the code three and buying them, eh, I'm just not, <laughs> not all Arm? that big, but yes, I probably got. Ooh, 
I don't know. I couldn't even count. Shakers this year. Miss <laughs> Barb says Miss Barb Robles says that she might have a pic- picture of Dirk in that spot. <laughs> Smock and Mr. Barnes says that the staff got bone shakers this year. So, oh well, then I might have to go after those. I I do like see even the staff cards, the baggy cards there. I do like those. Um, yeah, those are cool. If it's a casting that I collect, I've got um, sixty six Novas. I've got uh, the fifty seven Nomads. Um, mod quads. I went after those. I've got 70 Camaros because I like them. <laughs> but I got cool. people in places. I'll hit up and see what I can find on LA. Well, there's only four. That's <laughs> good. I believe four this year. So that's four colors, I'm guessing. I, I hadn't so... even seen a picture, nor had I heard about them. <clears throat> the Rain last one... There might be three. The last one that... Well, I got excited the other day. I walked into a Dollar General and uh, got the new silver bone shaker. <clears throat> Shaq says hi. Hello. Hello, Hunter. Do you have, have you seen the world's smallest, the world's smallest 50th anniversary bone shaker? The little bitty ones? Yep, I got them. Nice. Yep. Barb says it was a set of four, so there, there's your official answer. Yeah, so now I just gotta find people. somebody from the staff who don't like bone shakers. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Since we're so, on the bone shaker topic, I have okay. a quick question. Go. <clears throat> who is a bigger bone shaker collector, you or Roy? We're about dead even. Ooh. All right. Yep. And that's the one thing that keeps us bonded together. And <laughs> and now that we have them all, you know, we don't have to fight each other at convention when we see them. <laughs> I have one that you guys don't have. <laughs> I have an air. I've got an air bone shaker that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mr. Oh Gable, yeah, thanks for coming in. And uh, that, Loaf that's is true. Here. Scott Loaf. Yeah, yeah. Loaf is a big bone shaker collector. Oh yeah. Now, yeah. now there is differences because you know I collect uh, the the monster <laughs> bone shakers, the wooden bone shakers, the. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't keep any of them packaged. All of mine are ripped open. So if if there's a bone shaker on a card, this the same one that was. <laughs> he hasn't torched no bone shakers. That was a, that was a that was wicked a gasser. gasser from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, like I know there's a, a five pack bone shaker. The uh, decide you ride five pack bone shaker, um, and it's it's a pretty tough car to find. Um, got kind of the same thing loose. So you know I. I don't collect cards. I don't collect boxes. I don't. I just collect the car. I was gonna say yeah, I, sure. I've got a monster truck uh, bone shaker for you. You'll probably get it in Charlotte along with a medium sized shirt for Miss Melanie. Yeah, the one that's two years. I I meant to put on my mid. Uh, well, you're wearing Charm City. I'm I meant wearing to put the, on yeah. my mid state. No worries. <laughs> okay. So but yes, Scott Orloff, otherwise known as Lope, he a uh, big bone shaker collector there too. Yeah, he's a huge uh, Skyline guy, too. That's how... Yep. I remember that deal. Yeah. I've, I've, he was almost heartbroken over that. I, But I'm glad that that worked out. That was a good story. It did. It was a gentleman. You guys were true gentlemen. Um, and Kent, I meant to I meant to tell you the other night, I, uh, I picked up about four jammers of loose cars uh, about three months ago. A lady put on Marketplace locally, and I met her, and bought them all and uh as i was going through them um that skyline out of that road what i remember what was that the pack set with the or the race set whatever that was the yellow one oh oh you know it, it had two cars it was with yeah. a nova the purple one yeah or, the purple the one. nova was yeah. the yellow it was the yellow yeah. nova yeah, 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 yeah. It was loose in the pat or loose in one of them jammers, and I thought, "What? I remember that car." <laughs> yep, I, I I have it carded now. Someone hooked me up with it, um, so I was glad to get that. But you know, Brent and I are going to rip that thing open. And he's going to get the Nova, and I'm going to get the Skyline out of it. But you know, if you got a loose one, yeah, I might. I remember back in the day, I bought it for the Nova. I threw the Skyline to the grandkids. Well, no, I didn't have grandkids then, but 
I threw it to somebody. I'm like, who wants that piece of junk? Captain Nova, that ain't worth nothing. Ooh, Miss Barb's going to bring those uh, bone shakers to Des Moines. Uh, well. All right. Sounds like uh, Brent and Kent going to get me a hookup. That's what I'm kind of <laughs> hearing here. <laughs> We're going to fight. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight Reagan for him. Well, <clears throat> yeah, this could get interesting. <laughs> hey, you can have a Facebook Live auction. Yeah. Yeah. We can just do like a you and him and see who wants to spend the most. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we talked about a little bit, but can you explain oh, a little bit more you, about you, wait, you missed a question. What? Uh, how, how will Hunter wanted oh. to know if Greg has the new uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed game exclusive one that just came out? Yeah. PlayStation, Xbox One, and Switch, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it handled. <laughs> kept the card give the kid give, give, give the game to the grandkids <laughs> brian wow. I, I i really want you to take care of that because i do not want to do or see uh reagan and greg mud wrestle nobody <laughs> wants to see that i do look at him go. look at him going you wouldn't think chips were that heavy but apparently they are <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The workout, man. I don't. You guys haven't seen. Well, you guys seen me in Atlanta. I've lost a uh, lost a bunch of weight. I need to lose a bunch of weight. Me too. Sling chips and don't eat them. Don't they are not. Them. They're all three the same. Well, don't drink that stuff. It's bad for you. I'm least at least I'm drinking water. I know. I had sixty four ounces today. Yeah. Um, all three. All three cars are the same. What is your connection hey, to dude. Nebraska other than what you've already talked about? Or if you want to refresh for everybody that's coming in later. Tater. 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 I don't know. That's Barnes. That's Barnes. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Um, you know, I still have a bunch of family in Omaha. Um, my cousin Annie, is, well, she's retired now, but she was uh, Omaha City Police Department. Um all, uh, all my family out there went to Creighton or uh, UNL. Um, I don't know if we still have the, I don't know if we still have the farm in Blair or not, but uh, oh, somebody's making an appearance. She does it every time I go live. I know <laughs> she does. Kitty. She don't, interrupted. Don't put, many, don't put uh, your butt in the screen. Yep, that she did it. <laughs> <laughs> She's interrupted many. Uh, Many a live uh, sale. Well, many a live sale. Yes. That that is Poe. Okay, so. All right, come on. How did you get your job in NASCAR? <laughs> NASCAR. Why do you gotta say it like that? You ain't even redneck. <laughs> I don't know. NASCAR. I spent some time down there. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> well, living in Ohio, we've been coming down to Darlington since 1986, 87. Um, as spectators for years and years, and I fell in love with Darlington and the whole NASCAR thing. Um, long story, but I ended up having the opportunity to move to South Carolina. At the time, my wife's parents lived here in Florence, um, and they offered uh, or they invited us to come down to South Carolina. I moved down here in '93. Um, worked for Auto Parts Store, uh, Advanced Auto Parts. Um, and got to know one of my customers real well, who's uh, to, still today a very good dear friend of mine. And uh, just one day out of the blue, he says, hey, you ever want to work at the racetrack? And I'm like, oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was, uh, gosh, 95, 94, 95, 96, I don't know. They all, they, they all fly so fast. Um, and I started out riding in the back of a truck in turn one. That was back in the day. We had rumble seats in the back, and when we'd go out on a track, we'd just jump out the back of the truck, go pick it up, and take off. Um, I've been there, I think, at the last race, I think they told me I'd been there 17 years, so that would have been, I don't know, can't do math. Um, and now I'm actually the uh, cleanup supervisor of Darlington, uh, the Darlington cleanup, or Darlington safety team cleanup crew. We sit in the turns when they wreck, we go out and pick it up. I drive the truck in turn one, and we have uh, three trucks total, one, two, and three. Um, we don't have a truck in turn four because that's where ambulances and tow trucks and everything park. Very cool. And believe me, you don't do it, you don't do it for the money. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Still waiting for a piece of Kyle Bush's car, LOL. <laughs> yep. I remember yep. stories of Kale stopping by the store while working in advance. So he's, he's, a... to... <clears throat> he's referring to Kale Yarborough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. I, I, I know Kale personally. He used to come into advance all the time and buy stuff for tinking around. And the one thing that, uh, the one thing that, uh, Kale always said, he said, we'll get along just fine as you don't want, as long as you don't want to start talking about racing. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good segue. To, I have a question. So, obviously, you meet a lot of the drivers working at the racetrack. Not as many as you think, but yeah, we, I've met, really? met quite a few. Okay, so who's your favorite that you've met? Um, I, I say it all the time, and, and it's odd, but um, the one that impressed me the most, I'm a Martin Truex fan, go 19 all day long. I ain't going to tell you what I think about Kyle Busch. Um, Same thing everybody else should think about him. <laughs> I, I've met Martin several times, and Martin is, is wonderful and nice and friendly. Um, we got to hang out one night with Danica Patrick, Ryan Blaney, Ricky Stenhouse. Wow. And, uh, oh, Kyle Larson a few years ago um, and actually got – got to hang out and, and uh, had you know, they come over and ate dinner with us and might have had a couple alcoholic beverages. I'm not quite positive. That's um, cool. But the one that I was most impressed with in all the years out there was uh, Kurt Busch. Really? Um, hmm. Kurt actually came to one of our driver safety meetings and uh, um, said a, a few things and, and, and uh, thanked all of us for what we do and for you know, people don't think it's a whole lot, but you know, you're standing out on a racetrack on, on the banks or whatever, and you know, these cars are coming by. Caution is still 55 miles an hour. It's going to leave um, a mark. Yeah, no, not. It's going to leave a spot. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Bambi. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he just come out be- and he did it all on his own, but he uh, he uh, he come out and just wanted to personally thank each and every one of us for what we do out there. Um. He stood around and talked to us. He signed a bunch of autographs. Um, and just a sincerity, because in all my years out there, nobody else has ever done that. Hmm. Hot Wheel wants, Hunter wants to know if you've ever met Mr. Stewart or had oh. any interactions with him. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah met Smoke many times. And uh, he wasn't – I don't think he was here. I don't think he came to Darlington in the fall. He was here. He wasn't here in the spring because it was still a COVID thing. Um Smoke is real cool, and he is just exactly what he doesn't put on a front an actor, and no, he's a good old boy. <laughs> yeah, and I've actually got – I've gotten – I've met uh, Earnhardt Jr. and Mr. Tony Stewart. I mean, granted, it was at a car show, you know, autograph line. So, you know, you, you get to say hi for like four seconds, and then you're gone, you know. But I actually got to sit and – I actually talked with Stewart for a few minutes. Because he was, we were talking about something. I don't remember what it was, but and I got to talk to Junior for a couple of minutes too. Because I had, I actually went through the line twice with Junior because <laughs> my brother, he's a big Earnhardt Junior fan, so he had a whole bunch of cars he wanted to get signed. So I had to go through the line once for him. We were like the twelfth person in line in the very beginning, and so we we were able to go through and then go back through again. And the second time, I'm like, I'm having him sign something. I want to. You're done. And I had Junior sign the a couple of the 67 Camaros that he did with Hot Wheels and the the Blue Vega. I had him sign those three cars, and he was like, he was like, holy man, I I don't ever see these things, you know, because nobody ever brings that kind of stuff. Everybody always brings the the big cars. So, and I don't know, I don't know the uh, general age of the people in here, but. Um, I was just thinking for a minute, the nicest and kindest person I've ever met while working for uh, NASCAR um, was Ned Jarrett. Mm, okay. Ned, yeah. Ned Jarrett is uh, just a good old boy. Awesome man that'll talk to you until you're like, okay, we're, we're, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> yeah, he seems just his demeanor and who he, how he is is just really calm and cool and laid back and just an everyday person you know more so over the drivers that i you know like in my years of track i've met Smokey eunuch um oh, richard cool. childress um 
you know, Chocolate Myers uh, kind of knew Chocolate on a name-to-name -name basis for a couple of years there. He's just a good old boy who lived up the road. Um, you know, it's usually the people behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, Joe Gibbs is a wonderful person. Um, talked to him many, many times. Um, Chad Knauss is, is really cool and, and real nice guy. Um, Earnhardt Jr., it was always hard to get anywhere around Junior because as soon as he would come out to motorhome, there's like 4,500 people screaming at him for autographs. And you know, yeah. when we're there, we have a job. They have a job. We really don't. You don't try get to, to see him. Yeah, we don't try interfere. to interact with him too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one perk we have is that you know, with our passes, we can go anywhere, do anything. Sunday morning, we always get up and get up and get into the track early. We go into the garage. Um, and because that's, you know, the environment there Sunday morning before the race, because, you know, they don't race till Sunday night. So they're pretty laid back and pretty easy to get a, get a hold of. But, um, you know, gosh, all the years, uh, Davey Allison was probably the greatest meet I ever had. I was an insanely huge Davey Allison fan. Um, met him. That was back before I worked there, but met Davey two or three times down at the track. And that was the one that I loved the most, Kawicki, um Earnhardt Jr. was the one I hated. <laughs> Not junior. No, senior. Oh. Yeah, he was uh, He was funny, but he wasn't the nicest fella you ever met in your life. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, could, I could see he could hold a grudge. Yeah, especially there. when you show up wearing a Davey Allison shirt, wanting his autograph, and he's like, <laughs> wrong shirt. Didn't sign my thing because I was wearing an Allison shirt. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's Earnhardt. What are you going to do? I would have put it on eBay anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my next question is, how did you meet Roy, Mike, and Loaf? Oh, <laughs> Mike, that's the funny story. I met Scott through Mike. Um, that, do, you, do you work only on the cup races? Or are you? Oh, no. Truck Xfinity Cup, all three. Good. All three. Um, a lot of people fun. ask me, I don't travel with, with them. Um, I could, um, we have sister tracks I can go to, uh, uh I know in the spring we're going to go up and work Charlotte in 2022. Um, hmm. they asked, the they asked me the actually Charlotte comes down. A couple of guys from Charlotte come down actually riding my truck and I've been talking to them and, uh, we're going to go up there and help them out for Charlotte and, uh, go up for the Roval. Um, we can work Homestead. We can work Atlanta. We can work Martinsville. Because um, those are ISC tracks, right? Well, ISC. We all got bought out by NASCAR. Oh, so the France is on them all now? Yep. Wow. Um, but, you know, the, 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 it isn't worth the money to take time off work to go travel. And, you know, you get a per diem and you get a place to stay. But eh, they pay us. Gotcha. Let's put it this way. Uh, the new hiring rate at McDonald's is more money than we make. Okay. I'm um, right. Now, you asked, uh, I met Mike first. Okay. <laughs> there it is. There. <laughs> <laughs> God, many moons ago. I think we were on MySpace back then. Oh, I don't, Lord. Or we were in the chat. No, it was in the Hot Wheels chat room. And Mike was looking That's for older. For the advanced auto parts and the Quaker State funny cars, it was a two-car pack that they did back then when I worked at Advance. And I jumped on the board and said, man, I got plenty of those. I'll send you one. And didn't send them, didn't send them, didn't send them, kind of forgot about it. We're at convention one time, and uh, <laughs> didn't know Mike from Adam. I just knew him from Shattered Mind on the boards. And uh, he heard me talking, and he heard somebody mention my name, and he's like, dude aren't you supposed to send me those funny cars? <laughs> That's how we met. And uh, Mike and I, Mike and I share the same birthday, January 10th. He's a couple years younger than me, but uh, Mike has been one of my dearest, truest, bestest friends that I could have ever met. And um, when we go to Ohio, we stay at Mike's place for a few days. Um, that's how me and Mike started. Um, me and Roy started over a, a code three Camaro. <laughs> God, I don't even know where that was now. <laughs> he won a code three Camaro that I used to collect 67 Camaros. You know, oh, crazy for him. He won one at dinner, at a convention dinner. And we're standing out front smoking cigarettes. And I'm like, 
somebody gave me Roy's number, and I'm like, Roy, what do you want for that code three? And he's like, I don't sell my cars, man. I keep them. And I'm like, okay. So five minutes go by, and I text him again. I said, sure you don't want to sell it? And he looks at me like, really, dude? And I'm like, I just, I really want that car. You sure you don't want to sell it? And at this point, he's starting to get pissed off at me. And he, he walks over to me finally, because, I mean, I harassed him for an hour and a half, probably longer than that, but I don't know. But um, he, uh, he looked at me, and he handed me the car. And uh, Nick Sickle was with him. And I, I talked to Nick, because Nick used to wear the funny hats at the convention. <clears throat> Roy looks at me, and he hands me the car. And I said, cool, dude, what do you want for it? And he said, nothing, you can have it. I'm like, dude, I can't take it for nothing. What do you want for the car? And he said, you're going to take the blankety-blank car, or I'm going <laughs> to throw it across the damn street. Nick looked at me, and he said, oh, you better take the car, because I've seen him do it. He'll throw it across the street. <laughs> Corey, I, how are uh, you tonight? I, I took the car, and uh, I still got it. It's one of the one of the very few Camaros I still have, because that was, that was the night where uh, – me and Roy hit it off, and we've been dear friends ever since. Yes. Nice. Yes. All right, Loaf. We haven't talked about Loaf yet. Loaf. I met him through <laughs> too many stories. <laughs> too many stories. We don't have enough time. I got to go to work in the morning. Um, I met Scott through Mike. Uh, Mike and Scott have been uh, good slash best friends for quite some time. Uh, I met Scott through Mike. Um, convention. Um Funny, funny, funny man that used to tote his cooler around. And if you ever looked, if you're ever wondering where Scott was, you could find a water trail going down the hallways at conventions <laughs> where his cooler leaked. I've heard that, of that. That's how yeah, you I knew. Think that's I've actually heard that story before. That, that's how you knew what room he was in because you just <laughs> followed the trail of you know ice water going down the halls. Um, Scott is flat out one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Good dude, honest dude, and I love him like a brother. Nice. Very cool. Tim says he remembers that with the the Roy throwing it. <laughs> yeah. The, the, I, the, and look, I, the look on Nick's face when he's like, dude, don't he'll, he'll do it. He'll do it. You better take the car. I've seen him do it, dude. <laughs> well, we're talking about somebody who will light a 55 gasser on fire just for the, the sake of doing it. Hey, at the time it was a $35 car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what would you like to change about the hobby? Hmm. What would I change? The platform for buying RLC cars. <laughs> well, I think that happened. <laughs> it did. I actually got through and got a pink Eldorado the other day. Hey, Good. congratulations. Shocking. No, I could not believe it. Um, you know, it's... If, you know, if it was in my power to, to twinkle my nose and, and make a change... I would wish more that Mattel would get back more into being about the collector instead of being about the dollar. And that's just my opinion, but, um, you know, yeah, any of us, uh, my, or Tim's in here, Mike's in here, Dave's in here. We all know years ago, Mattel, uh, used to cater to the collectors at the convention. They used to bring stuff from the vault. They used to bring stuff from the cage. They used to do the RLC party. They used to, they were really, really involved in, as time goes on, it just appears more and more that Mattel kind of just pulls away from the public side of it. Um, you know, they just want to pump out cars and they don't care. If, you know, they don't care that, you know, I seen on Mercari the other day, somebody has a pink Eldorado pre-sale up for $175 and Mattel don't care about that. They care no. about selling $20,000 cars in 2.5 seconds. You know, yeah. it, it's kind of the way the world is now, but, um, as far as the collecting world goes, it's just uh, those RLC parties were absolutely fun. That's what taught me how to – that's what really got me into ripping cars because you uh, would go to the RLC party, and if you carry RLC cars, rip it open, give them the card back, they'd give you a ticket. And you were allowed, I think, up to 10 cars. So we used to go in there and rip RLC cars and get 10 tickets because that was in a separate drawing that you know, they would give out really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And that, really, that's probably what got me ripping because anybody that collects RLC cars that doesn't rip them open, 
um, you're missing out because the RLC cars and Spectre Flame are so insanely awesome out of the package under the lights. It, it changes the perception of each and every car they've ever done. All of my RLCs are loose and they're just, they're super, super cool. Yeah. I just yeah. opened this one on the show last week. Totally different car. Yeah. I think <laughs> that blue is probably one of my favorite colors that they ever do. And, See, and the red as well. The red and the blue are just off the charts in my opinion. See, like All this right. one here, this is another one here. Yep. And this this is more of a purple blue, but it's just yep. cool. So, so yeah, awesome. RLC cars are very nice. I mean, obviously I don't open all of them, but like this one, this one was on a super yellowed blister that the card was smoked. It was it was begging to be opened. You ought to see what that candy striper looks like out in the package. Man, it's amazing. I've seen it. I'm not doing it today. Yeah, we don't need to talk about candy stripers. I think you were with me when I turned that down, Greg. What? The candy when striper he, in, in LA, LA, they passed on for six hundred bucks, four hundred, yeah, or four hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yep, I was there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I remember when a certain Brent and Kent were both really squeamish about ripping open cars. Period. I'm still a little squeamish. I've rubbed yeah. off on him a little bit. Yeah. Well, you figure when we were in LA in eighteen, and we came back from dinner from somewhere and we were out by the smoke pit and we had stumbled across the uh the red line ripping party oh yeah i couldn't do that one i was like no no i'm out of here i can't i can't do that that's too much you know so so what i'm hearing is you want me to rip a red line tonight yeah that but not the one you showed me not no. not that turbo fire. no 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 that that, that one no, will never have no. a price tag and it will never be open no that will probably go to the ground with him <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what I've got in there that I can rip. Um, I was going to take you in and show you. Yep, I, I, my IROC's loose too. It looks well, way better on the package. This, I know is, that one this one is Roy's that Brian traded for in Atlanta. Yeah, that's like the, that's the one of the last two pieces. So I have one of the, the pieces from the Super Trade 2021. <laughs> yep. And I got the Mattel Creations Bone Shaker at the deal. Nice. Um, so we talked about what you would change. If you could bring back like a series of cars, you know, what would it be? The series of cars? You know, like say would... Cal Custom or Parking Plates. No, no. See, I'm not a series collector. Um <sighs> do, 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 do. I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know what I'd like to see them bring back series wise. I used to, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the, and the 55 candy cane car. Oh yeah. The MEA car. Yeah, um, that's one I don't have. Which is probably the ugliest hot wheel I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I really um, like it. <laughs> well, you given with that N on your hat, I'm just, you know, um, hey. <laughs> you know it's some fun because I've got Husker blood in me. So yeah, this is um, true. What series to bring back? Here we'll do that. Um, really, in all honesty, the, the only series that I really ever kind of liked was regular, you know, a treasure hunt. Okay. Not a super and a regular. You know, back in the day, you just had a treasure hunt. So basically, yeah. ninety-five to 06. Yeah, you know I that agree. those were cool. I don't, you know, the regular treasure hunts they do are, you know, most of them are so whatever. You, nobody wants them anyways, and yeah, you know, they get excited because they found a treasure hunt that's worth a dollar. Still having separation anxiety. <laughs> I never liked the, I never liked the candy cane car. It's ugly. <laughs> Okay, what's your favorite part about the hobby? What we're doing right now, the people. Nice. The family. Um, and you know what, Brent, Kent, you, you know me. My, uh, and I could probably go with that, too. I really like high rakers. Um, mm. 
um, but it's family, whether it's convention, whether it's in, you know, mid states, charm city, any ODC, um, you know, that I'm honorary members in all three of these groups. <laughs> um, I hated crack ups. <laughs> Come on. I, don't. I, I think I, I thank God for Terry Hicks and all of his love for crack ups. Thank God somebody loved him. <laughs> I was going to say, we needed him. We need him on here one night, too. Where's, Where's Max? Him? There you go. We need Ken. Oh, God. Tuned. <laughs> tuned. Tune yeah. Super tuned. Yeah. That yeah. was. Bleh. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it really, and honestly, that's not, that's not just being nice. It's the family. You know, the cars yeah. are fun and all, but um, whether it's your convention or whether you're in your local groups or whether you're in, you know, one of the, one of the big charter groups, it's people and the friendship and the family. You know, we always you hear people say all the time, we don't go to convention for the cars. I could care less about going to convention for cars. I go to convention to see my people. Yep. yep. That's what it's all about. That's what it's always been about. The first year I went, it was because of the cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you we know. all go through that. And, you know, after like the second or third convention and, and finding out what people are like and how they are and what they collect and how much fun we have. Um, you know, like Brian, the the. Star Wars and superhero cars of casting that you wouldn't want to collect. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. That is an interesting question. That's a question? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Chris Rappy from Des Moines is asking about that. I'm asking me what what Star Wars or superhero car castings would you want to collect? Hmm. <laughs> the only Star Wars car I got, Brent gave to me in Atlanta. <laughs> The Darth Vader ID. Yeah. Oh, man, that's right. <laughs> Only Star Wars car I own. There you go. And the Honeycomb Real Real Rider. I don't know if I'd ever attend. I think I've heard of it been called that. The... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely, I'm in a very agreement with Brian. I mean, when I went to L.A. in 18, it was literally, I knew none of you guys. And yeah. It was, an, it, I just had so much fun. And then getting to go to Atlanta this year, I mean, literally, we were getting out of the car and Kent got out first. And Roy walked up and went like this and shoved Kent to the side and gave me this big old bear hug because he had just seen Kent because uh, Kent was up there for the show uh, just a couple months prior, but he hadn't seen me since LA in 18. So, you know, it was two years almost, actually it was two and a half almost years, but you know, it was just, it's cool, you know, and that's what I tell people now. It's like, you know, I hope the castings are cool, but that's not why you go to conventions anymore. It's to go and see your friends and hang out with them. Yep. yep. As long as you hang out with the cool people. Well, yeah, well, you got to yeah. hang out with the right ones. Well, that's all and, the people I, in the smoke pit. So <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Yeah, we always we we have a good time. It doesn't regardless. We have a good time. Yeah, yeah. And we don't sleep a whole lot. No, no you do not. <laughs> Wear comfy shoes and yeah, you're not sleeping a yep. lot. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we just got a couple more questions left, and then we might wrap this up because we've gone like an hour and a half, pretty <laughs> solid here. Time All flies right. when you're having fun, bro. I know. Exactly. That's awesome. And I still got my shirt on an hour and a half later. <laughs> that's a plus thank god because <laughs> it's All like right. 30 outside so there's that no that's still warm yeah <laughs> actually it's warmer here i think it's in the 50s outside right now here so yeah it's supposed to be mid 60s <laughs> yeah supposed to be really nice. all right who has influenced you the most in the hobby <sighs> It is. That's where a lot of cool stuff happens. Is, yeah, that, that's it's that's true. And every yep. and every year, new people find it out. It's <laughs> yep. you know they come outside to go down to the street and get get something to eat, and they're like, "What are all these people doing out here?" So then they kind of just like stand around the fringe and they're yeah. kind of watching, and they see that we're cutting full and trading cars or giving cars or that's laughing. You know, yeah, they, actually. A friend of ours that is hoping to to get his ticket, he's already got it uh, ordered, or you know the check has already been written, so to speak. 
I, he, he's not a smoker, but hopefully you'll get to meet him here in, 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 uh, in Charlotte. And I already told him, I go, this if guy. you can't find somebody, go to the, go, go where the smokers are. You will find everyone you need to find. <laughs> You're talking about this guy right here that just put that comment up. Yeah, that would be Nick. <laughs> no, yeah, well, you I, guys don't smoke, and where do you hang out? <laughs> well, that's because that's where our friends are at. <laughs> I don't but have no. my cigarette. I don't have my cigarettes on me, but I smoke. <laughs> but I um, need to quit. But I know <laughs> I've gotten a couple cool pieces. I know in Atlanta. I mean, Tim Whitmer gave me a, uh, got me a. <clears throat> Redline Fire Chief and uh and you uh gave me that um product pre production whatever R thirty skyline that you found. That was pretty cool too. That that's sitting right next to my uh uh my paint sample uh MR two. Oh loaf 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 hey what's loaf, going on in here? What's loaf. up, Scott? Um, who has influenced me the most? Um, you know, I, I couldn't put it on one person. Um, between um, Tim, Mike, Roy, Scott, Dirk, um, you know, who influenced me the most? Well, I, you know, you guys don't know, but I would have to say, you know, my my closest brother to me. He's the one that got me playing with cars years ago, and he's, you know, he's the reason why I'm the card guru or car nut that i am is because of him and the hot wheels oh, she's, <laughs> she's crawling behind me again <laughs> i, I saw her sneaking up and then she just dips down but he can't say he's seen you sneaking up and then you just disappeared <laughs> all right so um but you know it, it, who influenced me the most i don't know take it out I'm not. I'm taking them in here real quick because now you're not in there. So I'm going to uh -huh. stay this way so the camera don't go your way. Fair enough. <laughs> uh -huh. Can I reverse the camera on this? Yes. It's a pain, can. but yes, you can. Oh. Well, then I don't want to do that. So let's see. Ah, uh, bright light. If, if you guys want to see, like. Oh, my. There is I one of my cases. See. I've only seen parts of your collection sometimes. Yeah, nobody's, and I do some big trucks of just stuff I like. That's an old uh, black plastic matchbox. Um, and then we come over here. That's my uh, AMX. You got a lot of room yet. Um, that's because I haven't showed you the mess. We are reorganizing. <laughs> Melanie is helping me color coordinate. Putting them in the rainbows finally. Yeah. Thank yeah. God somebody's you got somebody to help you uh stay organized. You know, if you want to just I go need back, a, but I need to find those. one of them. Um and then there's like I'm using the mirror of the cabinet up there to see if I can see it in the but those are Harry Hollers. Wow. There's my thirty two Vicky collection. Nice. Now if That's you wanna exactly. ask me if you wanna ask me something that uh most people don't know about Mike and Tim do, but I'm going to see if you guys can see them. But if you want to know the one thing I collect that nobody really knows about, can you see it? Oh, the Snoop Snoopy, the uh, Snoopy cars. Yeah. Wow. I did yeah. not know that. You have a lot of them. Those are matchbox, aren't they? They are not. They are made by a company called Aviva. Aviva. Yeah. Okay. There's Woodstock and, and Lucy and um, Linus is in here somewhere. Man, I, Schroeder's in here. I think I've seen those before, but I, it's been a long time. Yeah, those are so cool. Um, you know, there's a, a couple custom shakers and there's a custom 55s. Um, there's prototype 55s. Wow. Um. And there, that bone shaker right there with the white skull on it. I think I'm on it, but um, that was made by Dutch. Oh, okay. nice. Nice. Who passed away. Yeah. Um, I've got one of his banners in front of me. Um, you know, something else that people don't know, but if you know what those are, I collect zingers. Nice. <laughs> hey, there's one. Is that a Malibu? 
Was that the was that the seventy nine Malibu there? Um. Yes. Aha, nice. I got one behind me. Um, and then like <laughs> that stuff that I've gotten in the mail this week or uh, about the past month. Good lord. Um, wow. RLC pinks. Oh, so pretty. I need a few of those. Yeah, I'm still missing um, a few. Okay, so see, I couldn't think earlier, but black walls. I like turbo Mustangs. I like Monzas. I like Hightail haulers. Ooh, there's a Murata. There you go. There's a Murata in there. How did yep. that happen? I don't know, but it's the best car from that era. Besides, oh, no, no. You're so the, crack. There ain't no Murata in there. Right there, by the beach bomb and the um, highway hauler. Right below the pinks. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, no. Okay. Anyways, um, I don't have them up in there yet, but there's a couple old Moco Lesney Matchbox pieces. Those are cool, too. I love Matchbox car and trailer two-packs. Yep. Um, 36 Fords, uh, 917 Porsches. 55 um, Nomads. The Hoods, we ain't got to that one yet. There's there's some of my cartage that I <laughs> haven't done nothing with. We we um, have shocked Brent so much that he, he had to turn away, but now he's back. Custom Firebirds. Light my Firebirds and my Nomads. Yeah, I know and, your love of Nomads are quite And well then known. the one car that I showed you that started me off was uh, the Turbo Fire. And that one car has led me to... Those are all different shades of turbo fires. Yep. Oh, well, there's Lord. the green one I have. And then short orders. Mm hmm. Wow. Um, and then case is full. Case is full. I got, you know, <laughs> we're still sorting. Um, not trying to tie up too much time, but if y'all see that one right there, the pink turbo fire. Yeah. Um, if y'all want a, a little quick story about how much I love this hobby and the people in it, um, love you. Oh, you're on camera. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Shush, that was my thing. Um, that pink turbo fire just came into my possession. Um, for the past 15 years or so, that is the one car that has eluded me as far as collecting turbo fires. Um, it's a very, very hard car to find. Um. Two weeks ago, um, on one of the Redline sites, one of the Redline groups, um, the seller posted up that he had a pink turbo fire coming up. And uh, I, like said, send me pictures. I want to see the car. Um, I watched one about – me and Tim watched one about four or five months ago, and I bid a lot of money on it and still lost it. Um, I think it ended up selling for seven fifty eight hundred dollars Um but one came up two weeks ago um, and it had a tiny chip in the nose. And I thought, yeah, I'm just kind of funny about that stuff. If, if I'm going to fork out big bucks, I want a mint car. Mm -hmm. um, it started out at $500 and that was my cap. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched it. Um, everybody in, in the groups know that I'm a big turbo fire collector. Um, and there was a gentleman on Facebook in the red line groups who is one of the most kindest giving people I've ever seen. I've never met him. Don't know. Him, we're not even Facebook friends. He won that pink turbo fire, um, at a bit of a thousand dollars. Um, and immediately after the sale or immediately, not after the sale, but after that car sold, um, he said, roke it to Sully. Um, a guy I've never met. Don't know if I ever will meet. I don't know. Um, bought a thousand dollar car and gave me my grail red line to complete my turbo fire collection. That's something that you just don't see or hear of anymore. I mean, uh, no, you know, a thousand dollar car and he just bought it, paid for it and had it sent to me. Mm -hmm. Um, actually made me cry. <laughs> um, and really more so over, um, getting it in the mail and opening it up. Um, just opening it up and holding that car in my hand that I've been searching for for, gosh, 15 years, 20 years. 
was just kind of overwhelming. And I kind of teared up as I opened the car up because it completed my completed my turbo fires. It was the one and it was I don't know, but um it's just nice to know that there are still people that are in it for the love of the hobby and not for the money. Yes. Amen so, to that. Well said. Okay. Last question for the night before we uh we got a rip. Some, yeah, yeah, before we hurt some cardboard. All right. <laughs> what's your collecting pet peeve? not being able to find a decent car at a Walmart Dollar General or anywhere because everybody's out buying them all up and putting them on the aftermarket world. For like four or five times? Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, like right now I'm trying to find a supernova gasser. I don't care, about it, but I collect nova gassers, so I want the... The, the purple one? Yeah, the, the blue, blue one. The race team one? The blue one. The blue oh, one. Blue one. Okay. You know. I've seen one. You're forced, or you're forced to, uh, you know, you're forced to go to secondary market and you know, to me, it's not a $50 Hot Wheel. It costs a dollar at the store. Yeah. You know, it, that, that's really the biggest pet peeve I have. It, to each their own, um, you know, and people say, well, it's kind of a double-edged sword. When, like, say, you guys all know me. Um, Tim knows, or, well, not really because he doesn't do supers, but most anybody knows when I find a super, I give it to whoever needs it. Yeah, and I know that's happened before. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it, it's because they're just dollar cars to me. Um, and then, you know, you get it back in turn sometimes. Sometimes you don't. I don't care. They're just dollar cars. I, was, I can't believe you gave that up. Well, when Calvin and Roy and them came down here before Atlanta, they, uh, Calvin, Roy, Nick, they came down for a couple of days and stayed with us. Um, and it was funny because I finally found the pink 57 um, Super. And I had just found one probably two months prior to that hanging at uh, Walgreens. And uh, Calvin here, he said, I got one thing I'm hunting for in Atlanta. And I said, what's that, Calvin? He said, I need that damn pink 57 Super Hunt. And I said, oh, you mean this one? And he goes, oh, what do you got to have for it? And I said, hm, thank you. <laughs> Calvin, that's another person we got to have on. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much for whoever said that. That was Mr. Doug Robertus. He is from one of our, he's from the Lincoln area and he got, he likes to come to our shows and the Lincoln shows every time to time. <laughs> and he's just getting back into it now, I think for about a year and a half after being out for about five or 10 years. So that was cool of you there, Doug, to say that. Now, okay. you know, I know Kent, you do it and Brent does it. You know, sometimes you'll hit me up and ask me questions about Redline. Um, by no means am I an expert on red lines. Um, the, the experts, if you, I know you guys have both popped into some of whether it's studio or uh, yeah. red lines on the block, you see what they're, you know, the guys know what interior, small gas tank, large gas tank, you know. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn. But, you know, if anybody, I don't know, I can't tell the count. I don't know if anybody's still watching or not. If anybody ever has a question, you know, shoot me a message on Facebook. I help you out all I can. If I don't know the answer, I know people who do. <laughs> that you do. That I do. you do. Okay. I think that's all the questions I got. Um, we've got no more questions here. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> don't hurt the windshield. <laughs> don't hurt the cardboard. Well, screw the cardboard. Don't hurt the windshield. Don't hurt what cardboard? <laughs> no, I say don't hurt the windshield. Well, that's true. There we go. Ooh. That is one real writer I don't have that I am going to try to find here <coughs> at convention. So that is on my list of things to do. Now, I bought these in Atlanta, but they don't rate for being ripped open at a, a Redline Liberation Party. But um, I don't know. Does everybody in here know Leo? Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pull this down. So that everybody can see. There you go. Perfect. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Ooh, that's cool. Are they ugly? Absolutely. Is that why oh, I yeah. like them? Yep. Well, the Mercedes are actually are pretty clean. I just can't find them. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, this this is um, not a Leo. 
And I don't – how many viewers do you guys still have in here? Yeah, 14. 14, 14 or 15, well, yeah. We were, yeah. We just um, if anybody knows what that is, that is a Mexico That's why I thought. Oh. Dude. Now, um, how's the paint? <clears throat> oh, that's cool. I like – that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, it's really ugly because it's kind of like a bar, you know, the lighting is horrible. It's like a Barbie pale peachy. It's ugly, but is it a Monza? Mm, yeah, absolutely. And Mexico's I told, stuff. and I told the guy when I bought it that, uh, yeah, look at the, can you guys see the price tag? Not really. No, it's pretty blurry. Yeah, I can't, can't make it out. Nine hundred and ninety nine. It's a, you know in American it says nine hundred ninety nine dollars, but you know that was in pesos. <laughs> wow. Um, I, I, think have, I have one Mexico, but it, it's not opening. <laughs> yeah. Brent, you want to see how easy it is? Oh. He's not opening it. Oh wow. Well, there that you go. Cool. Yeah, I want to buy the 200 uh, SX Mexico. But that, now, well, I do keep that because it is Mexico, so it, you know, people yeah. knows that. Those are yeah, hard to come no. by. Yeah, yeah. That one, the real riders, whatever, diamond dust. Yeah, but pretty much. Yeah, and I actually bought that in Atlanta. I think I give uh, two, maybe two and a quarter for that car. Yeah, I mm. think that's the same room that had the 200 S. It is the SX in there, but the the card was so bad, which didn't bother me. But because the card was bad, there was some that, rub and stuff. That was kind of bad because that card was pretty good, but I don't really care. All right, see, because now now you can go like that, Brent. I know. Ooh. And I'm going to open this little uh, '65 Nova. Love a Johnny Lightning. Yeah, I, I I do too. And I and there was a big sale this weekend, and I got this car for two dollars. <laughs> so if you can get a Johnny Lightning for two bucks, you're doing just oh there we went right through the Chevy logo. Perfect. And I always keep the cards for some reason. I don't know why. I have a you'll get few... past that in time. You'll get past. No, that. no, no. This the this card. Oh. I yeah. always keep those. You'll get past that too. <laughs> <laughs> And it is dark blue. I thought it was black. That's See, cool. and you would have thought it was black forever if you hadn't ripped it open. Just like that '55 gasser from the yeah. '50s, that and the Mercedes from that. Yes, that too. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I, I like that can't one. wait to see that in person here in a couple of days. Yep, that is sharp. I like that one. Now I can finally take the Mondas and put them in the case with the other ones. Nice. There you go. All right, folks, last car of the night. We are going to do 64 GMC panel from Series 10 Real Riders RLC. And Number... I'll have you know that I thank you because that is probably my favorite panel. <laughs> I just got this, and when I saw it come up on the, on the auction, I'm like, I'm buying this, and nobody else bid on it. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. Well, you bid again. I wasn't going to bid against you. So. Well, <laughs> I know. We have that rule. Never no, it's not a rule. It's just a gentleman. Sometimes thing. we don't bid against our friends. <laughs> this is uh, number 2532 of 4,000. And who said that? Gary Bell. He oh, says, yes. I have some more. Yeah, great. If you want to get on some good RLC stuff for cheap, that's it. Even though usually ripping RLC cars was it, for a long time, it was a pain in the butt. Still is. Still is. I'm so proud of you, Kent. I raised you right. <laughs> oh, I ripped a. Did you see I ripped a '95 Hunt Camaro? Yeah. One day. Well, technically, you had Manny rip it. I had Manny rip it. Okay, <laughs> I have a good feeling on this one that it will roll. I Better doubt it. <laughs> Better than the Charlotte first Charlotte one. Yeah. And again, that, that panel is oh, yeah, so gorgeous know. outside of the package, it's unbelievable. Yeah, but it does not physically move. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that moves. So Oh, it, it moves. That one? It, nice. Yeah, this I, one moves. I'm confused. What one didn't move? 
the, the Charlotte dinner one. dinner car, the one that had the spider web and all the textures on it and everything. It. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, it does not roll. <laughs> I, I didn't rip my I didn't rip mine open, so I didn't. Yeah, I've got one loose and I've got one carded, and it, the front tires are locked up; they won't roll. Okay, we did two of them, and they both did the same thing. I've seen three, and none of them roll. Huh? Did not know that. Well, yeah, I know you're trying to go. Give me one second. Be right back. Corey Spencer says Scott Galliard told told me. Told him many years ago, I'm not a card collector, so I open lots. There That's probably a true statement. Yeah, Corey, it's good to see you in here tonight, and thank you for everything that you've done with um, the Hardy Adams Invitational. Yep. Um, your work on the trophies is just unbelievable. Hello, cat. Show your butt to everybody, but don't drop a deuce, please. <laughs> and I can't wait to go to the Hardy Adams 2022. Okay, so while we're waiting for Greg to get back, that's pretty much the show for tonight, unless he's going to show something pretty cool. Which I, I think he's he going to do something crazy. I think he's about to. Yeah, I got it. He's sitting there looking at something right now. Yeah. But don't Y'all forget- are still in my ear, so, you know. <laughs> oh! I can, oh. <laughs> I can hear you talking junk. Um, just, like, just like I can. <laughs> we, we are going to have the Des Moines show. Um uh, I shouldn't say we aren't hosting it, but the uh, I would do all that. Iowa Car Hot Wheels Club will be hosting. That's out at Des Moines at I the Eastside Church of the Nazarene. That's going on from, I think the official hours are 11 to 2. Come on out. There's close to 75 tables of goodness there. You're going to get people from Kansas City, Minnesota, all parts of Des Moines, eastern Nebraska, maybe some Eastern Iowa, Western Illinois folks, just come on out and have a good time. Uh, you know, they'll have a short meeting before everything starts. I don't know what I did with <clears throat> And, you know, members get to do a little bit of window shopping before the actual show starts. So, Ugh. hide your back, valuables and lock your refrigerators. I'm back. <laughs> I'm waiting for my phone to shut off. <laughs> I know. I've got Come one on. phone that's at like ten or less than ten percent, and one at the twenty. Oh, you're gonna oh, do it! Oh yes, that's a turbo fire too, isn't it? Yep, turbo fire. Uh, oh lord, dude! I remember, it. right is left and left is right. Yes, yeah, you're perfect. Right? You're perfect right there. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh lord! Oh, that's so cool. Read that 60s air. Oh. Smells like shit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that's the closest you get all night, man, that's impressive. <laughs> you, you did well. And there's Very the, nice. There's the button. Look at you go. So I did something nobody else has ever done on your group. Nope. No, no one's, ever, one's ever ripped the red line. So I don't think but anybody. See, look, see yeah. before it just looked like a, you know, bleh. But look at it yeah. out of the package. It's yeah, that thing now, is blinding. Is the the top driver's side where it lifts up? Is there was there some flaking there, or is it just the light? Just the light. Okay, so cool. That is pretty. Just the light. But now, do reds flake a lot, or do they? No. Um. All right. So real quick. But it's funny that just even, I don't know if you guys can tell it, but just out the package, out of alignment. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. So before I can even put it down a track, I got to take my tool out and straighten up the axles on it. Oh, and it's, I have, I have oh, it's one a of those transitional somewhere. piece. It's, it's a bearing front and cap rear. Nope. Bearings all the way around. Bearings all the way around. Oh. Yep. But that's. That's what we do with them. Awesome. Nice. Um, and you asked that. Um, see, uh, did they flake off? No, not really. But um, Hong Kong, uh, redline Hong Kong cars um, generally pop. Um, paint in Hong Kong would, after years of sitting, kind of, I don't know, as it settled, as it, I can't think of the word, but um, you get little pops of paint. Little blisters? That, yeah, that would show up in them years later. U.S. cars generally not. 
do they flake in a package? No, I've never really seen one flaking off in a package, but paint pops. Yeah, they, they do the original Hong Kong cars. This was the U S car. Um, Hong Kong cars to find mint Hong Kong cars with no paint pops is a very tough thing to do. Um, mm -hmm. and when you do find them, <laughs> um, <laughs> now for the 25th anniversary ones that they, you know, yeah, we were talking, Kent, you had that one guy that wanted a whole bunch of them. Yes. Because the first run where they tried to redo the Spectre flame paint was, was horrible. And, you know, I've had like nomads. I've had cars that were Spectre Flame on the 25th anniversary, I believe. Was that what, 96? 98? 25th uh, anniversary is 93. Okay. 90, that, that all the paint was completely flaked off the car and floating around in the blister. Yeah. And the car was bare naked metal. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, I was kind of thinking of 07 with the, the first year of the Supers, where, yep. you know, the Ferraris and the Skylines are notorious for that. Yep. So, yep. yep, and the Cadillacs and the Jaded and yep, everything. All, all of all them. None of them. them were, yeah. None of them. <laughs> I, I, well, I, there was a Camaro in there too, wasn't there? I believe so. It was the two ninety, uh, the tune Z twenty eight. Yeah, that's right. The green, the green tune. The, yeah, and, yeah, the green one. Ninety percent of every one of those flaked off. Yep. Yeah, that's why you know I got my I, when I got my Skyline, it was in really really good shape in it. I got it out of the package and put away, and it, it's held up ever since. But, yeah, the, the 07s it just scare me because of that. Nothing rolls like a red line, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, that's all we've got for tonight. We Gentlemen, I will say thank you very much for letting me come on and be a part finally. Oh, we've been talking problem. about Anytime. it forever and a day. If you ever want to come back, let us know. Yep. We just got to make it happen again. We, we've got some more people we want to get on there. We oh. want to get Scott. We want to get Mike. Um, we, we need to get them on. You know, Tim would probably be a great guest as well. So yep. <laughs> you, you, you don't have enough money to get Tim Whitmer to go live on Facebook. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> I, I He's like probably going to call me up and say, them guys want me to go live. Are they nuts? <laughs> I like Tim. I, I Tim's got a great to spend guy. some time Tim, with Tim, him hanging out with you. Tim won't even go live on a on a sale, you know, that you don't even show your face. He <laughs> sends me his cars and has me sell them for him because he's like, nope, nope, I ain't doing it. <laughs> but <laughs> if yeah, you guys get him on here, that will be the. <laughs> All right, challenge yeah. accepted. <laughs> yeah, but we thank you for coming on. Yeah, uh, thank you, sir. Everybody, thank you for having me on, guys. I enjoyed it. Good talking with you as always. And Brent and will, Kent, you know I love you, brothers. You behave you, yourselves. You, you've got to end it like how you used to end it on DDI. You remember? What? Peace and love and... Yeah. God, dude. <laughs> um, you know, remember now. <laughs> peace and love. I mean it to every one of you. Y'all have a good and safe night. God bless y'all. All right. Good, good night, night everybody. Later. Here you go. <laughs>